Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com bringing you another tying video today. Um, I've kind of been lately here keeping on a the theme of very simple patterns. Um, try and get you ones that are going to catch fish and are easy to tie. And um, we'll teach you also proportions and you know the things that will make an effective fish catching fly. This fly is no different. Um, this is an easy check nymph. Um, probably the easiest check nymph I've ever tied. One of the big problems, and I'm going to say it in the video here in a second, a lot of times when I tied check nymphs, I always tied them too fat. And that's a common beginner's problem, and, um, you know, with any kind of fly, not just check nymph, but any kind of fly, most beginners tend to use too much material. And um, this is a great way to combat that. We're going to show off a new product we carry here at the shop now. This is Caddis or sorry, dry fly poly yarn, um, the caddis amber is the color of this one here, but it's a great material, it has a couple different uses, one is body material, um, it's almost like dubbing, it's like dub thread in essence, and that's kind of what we're going to use it as here today on this fly. And uh, another thing you can use it for, which I'll be doing in an upcoming video, is uh, wings like poly wings for a spinner. It's great for wings on a spinner. You've already seen me use it as an underwing on a caddis fly. Um, so there's lots of uses for it. Great material. I really love using it. It's a product from Semperfly. And I'm going to show you another product from Semperfly that we just started carrying and that's Nano Silk. Um, I've used it in videos already now. I've been using it in a lot of videos. A lot of you guys already know about it, I've been asking us to carry it for a while, we finally got it in, and uh, when our rep came to show it to us, uh, when John came, the one thing he showed us that just blew me away was the strength of nano silk, and I want to show you why I picked up and I started switching to nano silk when I can, if, you know, if the colors match or whatever I need. Um, the strength of it is incredible. Yeah. If you watch my videos, a lot of times I break thread. Um, I use 140 in all, almost all my videos because I struggle. I'm heavy handed. I, it's a problem of mine. I'm heavy handed. 70 denier thread, I break a lot. Um, so I typically tie with 140. Well, this is 12 watt thread, which is about the diameter of 70 denier, I would say. But it's so much stronger. And I'm going to show you how strong it is. Here's my Renzetti Traveler Vice. Uh, I'm just going to start with a hook in the vise here, make a couple wraps to lock the thread in. Now I got that locked in. Here's how strong this is. It's strong enough I can lift my vise off the table. Try that with 70 denier thread, which is, you know, the same diameter thread as this. So this stuff is crazy strong, and uh, I do suggest if you have, I like to have a, a razor blade on my bench. To cut my thread because it's actually Kevlar, I believe. It's like strands of Kevlar, so it's very strong and will dull your scissors. So don't use a good pair of scissors or go way deep down in the V of the scissors. Or just use a uh, you know an old razor blade or something like that to cut the thread off. That'll help you out. Anyways, guys, here's the fly in the vise and the material list to tie it. You're gonna like this because, like I said, it keeps it thin and it has a very natural profile to it. Okay, here you see this very easy check nymph pattern in the vise. Probably the easiest check nymph I've ever tied. And uh, let's get into sharing it with you. I'm going to put the hook in the vise. The hook I'm using is a Firehole 315. This is a size 10. Tie it smaller by all means. Um, 10 just works great for the video. And I like to fish them big like this. So, uh, you know, I get some extra weight on here because I'm not putting a bead on it. So I get to put extra lead on it. I'll fish this as my anchor. So what we're going to do is we're going to start back here. I'm going to push that back just a little bit further. Tighten up my wraps. There we go. And then I'm going to wrap up to about an eye length behind the eye. And I'm going to hop back up on top. And I'm going to make about eight or nine wraps up top. 
And just like the last video we did, the Easy Wax Worm, just going to create a nice taper, uh, get a good flow to the body. Next thing I'm using is some Nano Silk Orange. This is 12 watt. The stuff is awesome. Using it just for a little bit of a hot spot head on it. It's not going to be real bright. Um, one thing about the Nano Silk is they don't really have uh, UV, but it gives it a little bit of color. So we got a little straggler of lead here. We're going to pop that off or get it tightened down. There we go. And then I'm just going to make a couple wraps over top of here and secure everything in place. I'm not going to get real particular because it's all going to be covered up here in a second. So Next thing I need to do is I'm going to take a piece of some three pound test and I'm going to cut a piece off here. This is what I'm using for the ribbing on the fly. I'm just using clear. If you had chameleon, like some chameleon three pound liter, that would be awesome too. Give you a nice... Uh, different colored rib so there we go wrap that in there I usually wrap that on the bottom and then on the top I'm gonna wrap the foil this is Jean Simon magic shrimp foil this is the fine pearl and it is brown it is the color 09 brown so we're just gonna start that out on top and I'm gonna wrap it not pull hard but pull it so it's straight and go right back over the top of the fly and then we're going to come back up to the front with it and all the time just keeping this body nice and smooth the next thing I'm going to go with is some dry fly poly yarn this is cream and this stuff is really cool and there's a reason why we're using it and that is because one of the biggest mistakes when I started tying check nymphs I always tied them too fat and that's a beginner's mistake for a lot of flies and uh, check nymphs are no different using too much material is a common mistake in the beginner so to try to combat that I found this works great so I'm just going to wrap my thread back up after I get it all covered down I'm going to put a quick half hitch in here right behind the eye so my thread don't roll off because I'm going to use my rotary tool so I'm just going to get my thread out of the way out over the front there and then I'm gonna take my thread you can wrap this on by hand for me I'm gonna spin it on with my rotary tool don't let that foil get trapped down which I'm gonna put that back here there we go oops put it in my material clip there we go and then we're just gonna continue to spin this forward Making side by side wraps, not overlapping wraps. If you overlap, you're going to make it too thick. And once I get up there to the eye, I'll spin my hanger out of the way, tie this off, get two or three nice tight wraps on there, and then we'll cut that off. And there I go, I got the perfect size body. You can see it's nice and even, it's not too big. And then we're just going to separate that foil. I'm going to lay it right down over the top and I'm going to tie it off right behind the head and I'm going to pull pretty tight on there just to keep it on top Oops. and you can if it rides off the side you can kind of set it after you get her tight like I just did right there there you go get that all in place where I want it and then I'm going to wrap back over itself I'm going to get the start to a nice little head here. I want to make sure I get that covered so it doesn't come out. There we go. That nano silk is really thin. It's another reason I love this stuff so much. And now we're just going to come back with our thread. I'm going to put a wrap or two right at the back. It helps me transition better up on there. And then I'm just going to make nice even wraps. And try not to twist your foil around the body. Try to keep it level right on top. And make nice segmentations with it. And then we're going to get up to the end and tie the thread, the uh, mono off. And then we we'll whip, we'll, yeah, sorry, we whip finish. 
Now as you can see that really easily comes out with a nice proportionate body not ever done uh, just going to put two whip finishes on here and hit it with a little bit of head cement I'm going to brush it up and maybe hit that head with my brush so I'm just going to put a nice coating of head cement on here and protect that head there and then the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come in with a brush, and I'm just going to brush some legs into this thing. you got to get a little vigorous with your brush there to pull them out, but the fibers in that yarn will pull right out. And you can see you got yourself a nice set of legs there. Very, very easy fly and a very effective fly. Alright guys, I hope you like that fly. I tied in a multitude of colors from what we have at the shop here's another color that I've tied it in you know um, just another picture of one that you can try mess around with we have a lot of different colors of the Yonsamon foil too so look through the foil page there and um, you know maybe you'll see a color combination that you like from what we carry that that would Fishing is a lot about confidence. If you have confidence in it, it's going to catch your fish. So if there's a particular color you like more than another one, you're going to do better on it because you're going to fish it harder. So, you know, don't stick with just the colors I say because that might not be a confidence pattern for you. You might like a different color instead. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I enjoy bringing these to you. I enjoy showing off new products like this the Semperfly material we carry now, you know, we're very proud to carry them in the shop and um, look forward to bringing you more material from them. So thanks for watching. Until next week, if you need any of these flies or the material list to find them, you can go down in the material list at the bottom of the descriptions, click on any of the links or go to our webpage at holsingersflyshop.com. So until next week, when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.